This vlog squad scandal doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. It seems as though every few days there's someone coming forward with new information or allegations, adding to the overflowing bowl of cancellation soup that these guys are sipping. Now that we're looking into these YouTubers' past with a new perspective, we can see who's tried raising the red flag before. So let's talk about the top five influencers who tried to warn us about Jason Nash. At number five, Trisha Paytas. Trisha has been very outspoken about Jason and the vlog squad ever since her very intense public and drama-filled breakup with him. Trisha has made countless videos and Instagram posts calling them out for mistreating her and really dug into Jason's part in their relationship and how toxic everything was while they were together. Though many people saw this as Trisha being Trisha, always trying to start drama, people are now coming to the realization that maybe she's been right all along. Trisha has always been the first to call them out on their actions and now that this scandal has started to grow, Trisha's coming up with even more receipts. Recently on the H3 podcast, Trisha exposed Jason for trying to get in contact with her even though they haven't been together since 2019. She showed off some of her missed texts and calls from him, pointing out that he's trying to get in touch while he's facing backlash from the vlog squad scandal, as well as others involving Tana Mojo, which we will talk about later. Trisha wasn't afraid to also expose screenshots that she received from Jason's alleged girlfriend, showing that he was going to quote, call his ex, so this all stops. He didn't indicate which ex he was referring to, but after seeing Trisha's text, I think we know who he was calling. Trisha might be warning us about Jason's strategy to cover this scandal up. As of right now, he hasn't publicly spoken about this scandal, so maybe he's just trying to cover it up and get away from it. And since Trisha knows the most about him and clearly isn't afraid to expose him, maybe he's trying to make a mess with her in hopes that she won't say anything. But if we know Trisha, then we know that there's absolutely no chance of her not exposing him. Because of the scandal, Trisha is now relieved that David and the vlog squad are now being held accountable for their actions. And since Trisha has shared her story about how she was treated when affiliated with the vlog squad, she no longer feels alone and invalidated in her struggles with the YouTube group. Like I said, she's always been very vocal about how much she hates the vlog squad and how they all protect one another, so seeing them all fail, especially David and Jason, must be fun for her to watch. Before I carry on with the list, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you are enjoying it so far, and also head on over to my gaming channel Viper Girl to watch some gaming content if you're into that sort of thing. At number four, Seth Francois, former vlog squad member Seth Francois is the one who started this whole controversy when he accused David Dobrik and Jason Nash of a him for a prank. David was known for doing a lot of prank videos back in the day, but clearly one of them went too far. In one of David's prank vlogs from 2017, David told Seth that he was going to be kissed by fellow vlog squad member Corinna Koff for a bit. Because he assumed that he was really going to kiss Corinna, he agreed to the bit, but at the last minute, Corinna was switched out for Jason, and that's who Seth ended up kissing. Seth was not okay with this prank because he didn't consent to that kind of physical contact with Jason, and the whole situation made him feel very uneasy. He kept this to himself for a long time before coming forward to talk about it. Seth said that this was a and that he was traumatized from this prank. When speaking out about Jason and David, Seth recalled that soon after this prank, they started distancing themselves from him and that after he started thinking about this prank as quote, criminal activity, it helped him realize that quote, they're hiding from me because they can't have the world know that the big secret within the vlog squad is probably my abuse, end quote. Seth also says that he feels as though they've quote, profited off his trauma, but also says that this prank isn't the only thing that he demands accountability for. In August 2020, he spoke with Insider about the vlog squad's past racist jokes and skits and asked them to take accountability for their actions. Seth tried to warn us about the vlog squad's habits before this scandal blew up, maybe to prepare our perceptions of the vlog squad, so that once allegations like his started to come forward, they would be taken more seriously since before then, these YouTube friends have been pretty scandal free for the most part. At number three, Ethan Klein. Over the last few weeks, as this vlog squad controversy has been unfolding, it seems as though much of the information that we've received come from Ethan Klein and the H3 podcast. Ethan has featured Trisha, Seth, and Big Nick, and these three people have been the biggest catalyst in blowing this scandal up. Because of them, David and the vlog squad have been hit hard with backlash and they've lost credibility and sponsorships as well. Because Ethan's podcast seems to be the place to go to reveal your truths about the vlog squad, it could be said that Ethan has tried warning us about them. The first big story to come out was the one about Jason and Seth, as he gave Seth a platform to share his traumatic story and bring some light to some of their actions, to warn us about Jason and David specifically. Ethan, by proxy, also warned us about them. Since being the platform to be the first to report on this whole scandal, Ethan has also thrown in his own takes on the situation, even going so far as to accuse the squad of making light of Seth's situation. I think that because he's been connected to Trisha for so long and has heard 
heard her talk at length about the horrible things that Jason and the vlog squad did to her and other people while they were still together, that Ethan has a sense of who Jason really is and is probably using his platform to not only let people speak their truths, but also subtly back up Trisha on everything she's been saying about the squad for years. Ethan is sort of like a background character in this whole scandal, but he's doing a lot to move it forward. Do you guys think so too? Let me know down in the comments. At number two, Big Nick. Former Vlog Squad member Nick Keswani, aka Big Nick, hopped on an interview with Ethan and Hila Klein from H3H3 Productions and to open up about why he is no longer part of the Vlog Squad. Much like the rest of the Vlog Squad, Nick originally came to fame on Vine and was actually more popular than David and Jason for a while. Like a lot of Viners at the time, he made the jump to YouTube and stuck by his fellow Viners as he started making content with the Vlog Squad. Things were going pretty well as the squad members were able to boost each other up on this platform, but soon Nick started getting bullied by his friends, as much of it was for vlog content. Because Nick was born with dwarfism, squad members would often make jokes about his height, and he became the butt of many of the jokes in their videos. Nick said that things got so bad for him that it eventually got to the point where hanging out with David and the rest of the vlog squad became detrimental to his mental health. He said that because of the quote, cruelty of his friend group's behavior, that this prompted him to leave the group. Much like Seth, who also had his grievances with the vlog squad, he stayed silent on the matter and didn't come forward about things until Seth spoke his truth and inspired him to come forward. Nick has now gone on to call the vlog squad a cult, saying that their toxic culture left him feeling drained after a day of filming. He also gave insight into how the group's gossip and quote, superiority complex also fueled the group's toxicity. Nick really exposed them for their toxic environment, saying that this wasn't a good place for him to be, especially because it affected his mental health so much. Bullying also seemed to be an ongoing thing in the group as Nick revealed that he wasn't the only one being bullied in the friend group and that other members have also faced torment as many vlog squad members talk badly behind each other's backs. Nick opened a lot of people's eyes as to what things are like in the YouTube friend group, going on to say, quote, just because you're popular doesn't mean you're a good person, end quote. Because of everything Nick has revealed about the vlog squad, he didn't just warn us about Jason, but also every member of the vlog squad as he accused them of perpetrating and fueling the toxicity in their friendship. Now that we know all of this, maybe fans should be calling on other members of the vlog squad to apologize and take accountability. And finally, number one, Tana Mojo. One person who's pretty much stayed out of this scandal is Tana Mojo. Though she is certainly no stranger to controversy, she's been pretty quiet about this vlog squad drama, even though she's collaborated with them in the past. Though she hasn't been as outspoken as others have been, she has subtly thrown some shade at Jason Nash and called him out for the time he kissed her in a vlog when she was younger. Because of this drama, a video resurfaced of a then 43-year-old Jason kissing a then 19-year-old Tana, showing Tana in a very uncomfortable situation. Because of this, Tana tweeted saying, quote, to all the famous slash successful old guys who dated or got at me when I was 17, 18, 19, or 20, you're effing weird. I see that ish now too with these young TikTok girls. Guys are weird if there's a 10 year age gap and he just understands you or something is wrong with his brain. Tana didn't mention Jason by name in this tweet, but a lot of people have assumed that this is partially about Jason, judging by how this old video has resurfaced and because Jason's character is being questioned now as a result of his controversy. It might also hint at the fact that there is speculation that he is dating a 19 year old OnlyFans influencer. Tana is warning people about Jason and other people like Jason who get into these sort of entanglements with young influencers. So even if she didn't send out this tweet with Jason in mind, it still applies and still warrants some thought into how these people are really acting behind the scenes. Now I want your thoughts on this whole vlog squad scandal and also your thoughts as to why Jason hasn't spoken publicly about the scandal yet. Things have been blowing up so much lately and I'm sure you all have your opinions so leave them down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for today's list of the top five influencers who warned us about Jason Nash. I've been your host Bree Room and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!